In this video, we're going to go over users and devices in Contents Track. Let's get started. To add a user, click on Add User. It will take you to a screen where you will need to enter an email address. Don't be confused by seeing Xactor ID. If you currently have an Xactor ID, it will tie the two accounts together, but it is not required to access a Contents Track account. By default, you will have Access, Mobile, and Access Online options selected. Whenever you set up a new user, give them at least those two permissions. These two permissions allow them to access Contents application online and on the mobile device. If you want them to have administrative rights, you need to select it and then hit Save. Now let's see an example of one that has been created. You can see the exact ID, name, and permissions given to the user. If they forget their PIN, you can reset it by clicking on Reset PIN, and then hit Save. This will send an automatic email to the customer, which allows them to reset their four-digit PIN. Now I'm going to discuss registered devices in Contents Track. Once you have installed Contents Track on your mobile device and registered, you can verify it under Registered Devices section. If you register your device and it doesn't show up, it probably means that you put it on a trial version instead of a registered version. At that point, I would recommend going under Settings under your user on the mobile app and unregister and re-register. If you do it this way, if you already have a job that has been saved on the mobile app, it will not be lost. In this video, we learned how to add a user, how to reset a PIN, and how to verify a registered device.